Well, good evening, everyone, and uh, I hope you've all recovered from last night. Uh, no doubt there was a few hangovers in the air after that great win against PSG. Uh, great result for the, the Toon Army last night. And, uh, yeah, it, it didn't really sink in for me uh, this morning until I actually uh, looked on Facebook and picked up the newspaper, and then it really hit home. Wow, what a result. Uh, but something that's really hit home for a lot of Newcastle fans today is the England squad has been announced for the upcoming internationals between Italy and Australia, and there's only one Newcastle player being uh, being picked up, and it's which isn't really a shock to me. But anyway, before I go any further, guys, welcome to my channel. This is Marty the Mad Magpie, and uh, if you want to look at all my videos, check them out. If you're checking it out for the first time, welcome. And um, if you like any of my videos within the channel, please give us a like. It'll really help me and benefit, benefit the channel. And if you want instant access to any of my videos, any new videos which flash up, just hit the subscribe button. It's completely free, guys. Um, just hit the subscribe button and any new videos will come straight up as soon as they are uploaded. So, I mean, what I've come on tonight is a lot of Newcastle fans are going mad because Gareth Southgate, once again... You know, the Beavers announced his, uh, his squad. And once again, uh, there's only one Newcastle player in it. Now, the last time, there was Kieran Trippier and Callum Wilson. Now, Callum Wilson has been overlooked this time. But my personal opinion looking at it is it's um, he's picked the usual suspects, hasn't he? I mean, let, I'm just going to run through them. So, please um, don't think that I'm uh, ignoring you guys or looking away from the camera. I'm just having a look at uh, the names that I've written down. And we'll get into these guys in a minute. But uh, first ones, uh, I'd just like to touch on. I mean, people are going mad because Dan Byrne hasn't been picked. Sean Longstaff hasn't been picked. Callum Wilson hasn't been picked. Anthony Gordon hasn't been picked. Jacob Murphy has been overlooked as well. Um, and these usual suspects, I'm just going to have a, a quick look at them now. And uh, look, I'm just flashing a bit of paper around in my hand, waving it about. You'd think I was bloody Neville Chamberlain, wouldn't you? Uh, let's have a look then. So, uh, Harry Maguire is in the squad once again. Uh, yeah, well, he's uh, he's clearly one of uh, Southgate's favourites, isn't he? Um, Calvin Phillips on the bench, a real bench warmer at Manchester City. Excuse me, I've got a hell of an itchy back. Um, Calvin Phillips, yep, Manchester City bench warmer is in the squad. Uh, Connor Gallagher from Chelsea hardly kicks a ball. He is in the squad as well. And another little fella who has now left England. He's playing in Saudi Arabia for Steven Gerrard's team. And uh, he's in the England squad. And that's Jordan Henderson. So, I mean, I look at these names, what I've picked out there. And then I look at the likes of Dan Byrne, Sean Longstaff, Callum Wilson, Anthony Gordon, Jacob Murphy. There's some fantastic names there. There really is for Newcastle United to get into the England squad. And I dare say if anybody else was in charge, they'd get a chance. But let's face it, guys, Southgate has never been big on Newcastle, has he? Never. And he never will be. So he's an ex-Middlesbrough player, for Christ's sake. So he's never going to be that, that hot on our heels anyway. I mean, I think he only picks Kieran Trippier. And, you know, because he's been leaned on by people to say, well, hold on, Trippier's a bloody good player. He's one of the best right-backs in the country, you know, you've got to pick him. And Callum Wilson, when he started hitting form, well, you had to pick him because he was scoring goals. I mean, the media were leaning on him, but Gareth Southgate will do whatever he wants, guys, won't he? he? In my personal opinion, he does what he wants. He reminds me a bit of Alf Ramsey, you know. Um, even when after the 66 World Cup, England didn't qualify for the 74 World Cup. You know, and he was still picking the likes of Bobby Moore. Jeff Hurst, Martin Peters. You know, they were past the, past the best at that moment in time. But he was still picking them because he believed in them. I'm not saying Gareth Southgate doesn't believe in the likes of Maguire, Calvin Phillips, Conor Gallagher, Jordan Henderson, many more. But they're not, they're not playing for the clubs. The difference is, is that Martin Peters, Jeff Hurst and Bobby Moore were playing for the clubs that were playing regular football. These guys aren't playing regular football. But he's not going to change his ways. He's got his favourites. And my personal opinion on this is, I, I don't know if any of you guys will agree with me. I'm pretty sure there's a few of you that will, but many that won't agree with what I'm going to say here. But the truth is, I don't want any Newcastle United players anywhere near the England squad. 
unless it's a major tournament because we can't risk injuries, especially in friendly matches. Now, we've cooked two matches, right, against Australia and Italy, right? Now, Australia is a friendly match, right? In the Italy game, I believe that's a qualifier. It could be a friendly, but I believe it's a qualifier. Right, now, why do we want Newcastle players in that mix? Why? Yes, it's great for the club and it's great to see these players playing for England. And I'm not saying that these players shouldn't have a cap for England or too many caps for England. I mean, Malcolm McDonald only got a couple of caps for England. Had Don Revy not been the manager, Super Mac would have got a lot more caps. I'm pretty sure he would. But he only got a couple of caps for England. But the point is, well, a few caps for England, should I say. But it didn't change the way that Super Mac was as a footballer. And it won't change the way that Dan Byrne, Sean Longstaff, Jacob Murphy, Callum Wilson, Anthony Gordon, they're still the same players. And I would rather have them players, in my personal opinion, my very humble opinion, people, I would rather have them players fit. Honestly, I would rather have them fit for Newcastle United rather than going off and playing for England. Because we've had this situation before with Michael Owen. Do you remember him? Yes, we all remember Michael Owen. Money bags, money bags grabbing Owen. Yes. And he was told in 2006 that he wasn't fully fit. Sven Jorn Eriksson was told by Glenn Roder at the time, Newcastle's manager, the late great Glenn Roder, God rest him. He told him, don't pick him. He's not fit. We need to get him fit for the new season. And Michael Owen kicked up so much of a stink, and Sven Jorn Eriksson did as well. I must have my top goal scorer with me in uh, in uh, 2006 to go support Wayne Rooney up front. Eh? And so he picked him. And Michael Owen, I thought I want to go and play for England. I don't want to play in Newcastle. I want to go play for England. So we let him go. And what happened, guys? Well, for some of you who don't know what happened, some of you younger guys, Michael Owen basically was playing in a match against Sweden. He got his boots stuck in the turf and his knee his knee buckled. Totally buckled, honestly. I've never seen anything like it. It was like a... You know when you snap a bone on a chicken, when, you, when you're deboning the chicken, you know when you're taking all the meat off the chicken and you snap the bone? It was like that. It was just like you could see the bone moving. It was horrible. Horrible. Um, and he got he was out for months, months. He didn't come back until the third off last game of the season, and he was never the same player after that, you know. So since then, my association between England and Newcastle has always been yes, it's nice when a Newcastle player gets picked to play for England, but is it really necessary, especially for friendly matches? And I mean, Italy, yeah, it's a qualifier, but. What I say is, if these players carry on playing well, the likes of Byrne, Longstaff, Wilson, Murphy, Gordon, whoever else comes in, Lewis Miley, Josh Miley, you know, whoever comes in, as time goes on, these young players at Newcastle United, Elliot Anderson there as well, I forgot to mention, you know, these players will get the chance at England level. And so before too long, Gareth, let's just look at these guys. Right? Gareth Southgate isn't going to be there forever. Because, to be honest, I think he knows that his time's running out. And the FA knows his time's running out. And whoever comes in after that, they will start picking these players. Because they will get better. They will get stronger. And they will get the chance. Me, personally, I don't want any of these Newcastle players. I don't even want Trippier in there. Because of the risk that he could get injured. If he gets injured with Newcastle United, that's fine. It's not fine, but at least then we can, we can tolerate that. Because he, he is on Newcastle duty. When he's away with England, it's a different kettle of fish. He's away on England duty. He's not playing for Newcastle. He gets injured for England. He's, England probably aren't going to play for another fucking six months. But Newcastle United play every other week. And we are going to be without our star player. One of our star players for that long. So what I've, what I've come on to say tonight, guys, is the England squad's been announced. I've had a rant about the usual favourites. I don't agree with them. But at the same time, I would rather Newcastle United players were kept out of the England squad, you know, for the good of the club. That's my personal opinion, guys.
But let me know in the comments what you think. Am I wrong? Let me know. Get in touch. It'd be great to hear from you. And like I say, guys, if you want to subscribe to my channel to get instant access to my videos, please do. It'll really help the channel. And there's also, it's completely free and you'll get instant access to any new videos that come up. But please get in touch tonight, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you think Newcastle players should be in the squad? Am I talking absolute rubbish? Please let me know. Or do you agree with what I say? Or is there any players that I've missed out that should be in the England squad? Or do you agree with these guys, these favourites, getting into the team? The likes of Maguire, Calvin Phillips, Gallagher and Henderson. You know, let me know, guys. It'd be great to hear from you. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. So all the best. Thank you so much for watching. Marty the Mad Magpie, thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.